Cars for Sale in Japan, part two. So today we're gonna to take a look at some other cars for sale in Japan. I made a video about this a couple months ago. We're gonna hit up one of the same dealerships that I'm here already at, but they have a few new cars that I wanted to feature. And I wanted to go back and hit up that chaser that everybody was pissed off that I missed the first time. First, we're gonna start out with something kind of special. It's a Nissan Stagia, or Stagia. I'm not really sure the proper way of saying that. But it's an RB26, basically a full GTR motor in a wagon. Got the Brembo brakes. It's kind of hard to get a good angle on this one just in the placement in the parking lot of where it's at, but these things are crazy awesome. If you haven't heard of them, you definitely need to look them up and check out some videos of them. I would own it with a flat tire. It sucks with some of these cars being in Okinawa because it's just impossible to prevent rust out here, especially sitting out here day after day in the elements. Here's one they didn't have last time, uh, R32 GTR. Little chip out of the exhaust. They put ask on the price because they're probably asking 20,000 for it. Oh yeah, and the Stagio was 10.5. It's US dollars, which isn't a bad deal for one of those. The GTR, like I said, I'm pretty sure they're probably asking close to 20, which is a bit ridiculous for a GTR in Japan. You guys back in the States might think that's a, you know, about what they're going for, but I don't know. The prices are still on the rise here, so we'll see how high it actually gets. All right, now we're to this chaser that I missed last time. It is a Tour V, it is the five-speed one, it is the 2JZ one. So I do apologize for overlooking it last time. I'll give you guys a little look at it. So they wanted, I think, 9,700 for that chaser. Haven't really priced those, it seems like an okay deal. The Mark III Supra, but 9.7, not too bad for a five-speed turbo 2JZ car. Let's see what else they have here. There's the Cosmo that was featured in the last video. I won't go over that one again. So if you want to see that, hit up the Cars for Sale in Japan Part One video. There's a cat on that car back there staring me down. I'm not sure if that's their guard cat or what, but. Definitely staring. On to the next uh, Toyota Celica. I think it's the GT4. We've got the GT4 uh, wing and ground effects and all that, so I'm assuming it's probably the GT4. We'll take a walk around and look at it. Nice wheels. Toyota Celica SS. Not really too sure on what that one is actually. Not a big Celica fan. But the GT4s were awesome. I actually got to test drive a GT4 about a year ago, right before my GTR got here. I uh, still had a Silver Evo 4. Anyways, I still had that Silver Evo 4 and uh, I was looking to sell it, but a guy came up with a trade for a GT4, so. I gave it a drive to see what it was like and it handled great, it felt great, it was a pretty quick little car but I wasn't allowed to own another car and I had the GTR on the way so trading wasn't really an option. Little Nissan Laurel action. This thing looks really clean. Alright, I'm pretty sure we covered the Mark 
3 Supra and the Soar in the last video. Uh, looks like they have a R33 GTS 25T, so the RB25 rear wheel drive, not GTR. Still a nice car. It doesn't look bad at all. Asking 8900 for that. All right, the 180 was here last time, but that A86 was not. Let's go take a look at that. I'm gonna be willing to bet they're asking a good amount for this because I'm sure this one's old enough. Yeah, this one's old enough to go back, so I'm gonna bet they're asking a pretty penny. It looks pretty clean. There's definitely a few dings and stuff in the paint, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Now let's see what the price is. Really a beautiful car, but 15,900 US dollars, that's, that's a bit much for it. All right, last little interesting thing we're gonna feature in this lot is this Toyota Starlet. This thing's pretty cool. Seventy two hundred five speed. Bride seat for the driver's seat. Momo wheel. I'd be in trouble if we were allowed to own more than one car per licensed driver in our family here. I'd, I'd have too many cars. There's a few other random kind of cool things here, like Altezas, Crowns, stuff like that. Nothing I'm gonna spend the time featuring, but let me know if that's something y'all would like to see in videos to come. Anyways, we're gonna move on to the next dealership. Got the new decal added on to the Rocket Dancer flap. The first dealership we went to was Johnny's Used Cars. They have some pretty cool cars out there almost all the time. Sometimes they're a little bit under the weather, but that's pretty much every car here in Okinawa. It's ridiculous trying to keep rust off of cars. I can't imagine trying to run a dealership and having to deal with that. Definitely if you're in Okinawa and looking for a car, it's worth riding over to check out. Next, we're gonna go over to another dealership that I didn't feature in the first video about cars for sale. Uh, I went there last year and looking at cars and they had an NSX. So hopefully something like that's still out there. They usually have something pretty cool sitting out front. So we're gonna ride over there and take a look now. Bought some goodies today for the GTR and the Evo. I got new rear slotted rotors. The rotors that are on it are really starting to go on the rear. The front ones are still pretty good. I'm probably just gonna have those resurfaced because I also bought new Dixel ES pads all around. And those are rated for like extra hard driving, more than street driving. Really looking forward to putting those on and actually being able to stop. I also bought some TN coilovers for the Evo. It's already got some TNs on it, but they're blown to hell. So I got them used. I got them at an awesome deal, $200 from B&M Okinawa Parts Center. I know I've mentioned B&M Parts Center a few times, I think in at least one other video. That's where I got my clutch through, uh, my timing belt, water pump, all that kind of stuff. I always go through them. They have good prices, local here in Okinawa. They can order anything you want and gets here in a few days. Definitely recommend those guys if anybody here is looking for a, a way to order parts. All right, so this is the dealership I was talking about and what do you know, there is like absolutely nothing here on the front row. I think I saw something in the back, so we're gonna go look there though. They have a Mazda RX-7, the FC model, hiding back here. The, the first thing I'm noticing is the uh, headlights. Normally they're pop-up headlights, so I guess they may have swapped them out for these. 
Not really a fan of that look though. I really like the classic pop-up headlights. I really don't understand what the price is on this one either. It says 79 on it. I don't know if that's like a monthly thing. So that was kind of disappointing at that dealership. Normally they have some pretty cool stuff. The mini truck. If anybody's interested in that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna spend any time on that. But we'll cruise down the road and check a couple more places. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to find though and we're running out of daylight. Got a fellow 32 owner up here. Kinda like the tail lights on this one. I think some sort of LED tail light might be in my uh, future parts list. All right, I found one more. Gotta hurry though, I left my car back there on the side of the road. This is gonna be it for the night. It's getting a little too dark out here, but here's a last dealership. 350Z, fair lady Z here. Once again, that whole price thing that I'm not exactly sure what it is. We have a Mercedes E55 AMG. Don't really know much about those. I'm pretty sure it's supercharged, but it's as far as I'm gonna go talking about that one. A convertible FC RX-7 over here. I've never really been a big fan of the convertible FCs. All right, the last thing I see here that's pretty interesting is a S15. I don't see a for sale sign on it, so this one might be somebody's private car. Let's take a look. It's got the carbon fiber hood. A little, a little old looking, a little weathered. Big old tall shift knob. Ooh, lots of tape on the trunk. Like I said, it's impossible with this Okinawa weather to keep anything perfect. That is gonna be it for me tonight. Wish I had a little bit more time. Kinda ran out of time after having to go get the parts today. But definitely more cars for sale videos to come. I also found a couple pretty cool junkyards that look like they had some cool stuff in it. We'll definitely do a video of that soon. But yeah, more videos to come. Every week, at least one video. And uh, please keep coming back and watching. I really appreciate the views and the comments and the likes, all that. Time to take a little drive home in this beautiful car. I'm driving at night with the windows down, the weather's cooled off. It's just, it's the most refreshing thing you can do. As always, thanks for watching.